what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Beijing is hiking up its terrace on more than 128 U.S. imports, including fruit and pork, as part of its tit-for-tat response to Donald Trump your president, $60 billion package of tariffs imposed against China. The additional fares, which ranged from 15 to 25%, took effect on Monday, the Chinese Finance Ministry said on their website. It added that the measure aimed at safeguarding China's interest was in response to Washington's package of tariffs targeting more than 100 types of Chinese goods from clothing to electronics. Announcing the package of tariffs on March 22nd, Donald Trump said it would help the U.S. reduce trade imbalances with China and curb theft of American intellectual property. Earlier, his administration accused Beijing of making state-led market-distorting efforts to force pressure and steal U.S. technologies and intellectual property. That is a heavy, heavy, heavy accusation. But Donald Trump is always making accusations. This is one where it sounds good coming out of his mouth, but we already know Donald Trump is full of hot air. The dude loves to bluff. America stands a snowball chance in hell not competing against China when it comes to trade. America imports $500 billion worth of trade every year from China and only exports $100 billion. So you tell me who's more reliant on who. Yes, China would be hit harder financially because they are getting a lot more money from the U.S., but the U.S., is very, very dependent on China. Therefore, they are going to be first to fold. Trust me. Now, I like how it sounds protecting Americans, uh, Americans, U.S. property or intellectual property. That sounds good because China got it bad with stealing shit. They got it bad copying everything. They even copied an i what is it called an Apple Store. They copied a whole Apple Store. They had a whole fake Apple Store in China. They copy everything, and you can you can if you're an artist, you can forget selling any type of uh, CDs out there. Well, CD ain't the big thing anymore anyway. But you can forget selling DVDs, anything. They copied it's fake everything. You can forget selling Gucci, Prada, if you're a designer, you can forget it. They're knocking everything off. They got it so bad that they don't just have to sell it in, the, in, in China. They sell it in the U.S. But the thing about it is that U.S. Customs knows this. If they wanted to shut down China's, um, what, they, what do they call it, counterfeit property, black market, they could do it overnight, but they don't want to do it because they're in on the hustle. Let's keep it real. How are you going to have Chinatown in, in the United States, in New York City, the U.S. hub of trade, and not know, or not be able to stop them from selling counterfeit Gucci, Prada, Sean John, Come on, man. Rolex watches. It's right there in your face. And they try to act like it's a cat and mouse game, but it's not. They know what they're doing. Every now and then, they'll bust somebody, but most of the time, they let everything slide through. That's the game. That's the hustle. It ain't no such thing as they're trying to stop it. They're not trying to stop it. They're in on the hustle. How you gonna stop? How how you gonna stop somebody uh, or catch somebody selling a little rock this big, but you can't stop somebody from selling a big ass purse? 
big ass shoulder purse, big old bag, big old jacket, a coat, shoes, everything you can think of. I'm surprised they ain't got fake cars out there. You know what? Nah, I don't want to speak too fast. They probably got some fake cars out there. So I don't believe Donald Trump. I don't believe none of that trying to challenge China when it comes to trade. And who's going to get hit the hardest? Probably Walmart. I can hear it now. Attention, Walmart shoppers. Prices are going sky high on aisles one through 79. <laughs> they won't make it. And I also challenge China to name me 128 U.S. products or products that are made in the U.S. <laughs> Everything on Walmart shelves are made in China or Mexico. Everything except the food. Sit. Some of they probably get some of the food from China. America don't make nothing. But thieves, killers, we good with that, boy. We can make some killers. We can make some racists. We good with that, boy. We come up with a hate group like this. We got the hate, we got the hate groups on lock. Hate groups, killers, thieves, dumb politicians. Boy, we got that on lock. We can come up with that. But you're talking about making products? No. No. There's no competition. Put tariffs on Chinese students. I heard somebody say, which is stupid. But I don't know, you know. Donald Trump is stupid. He would try something like that. I was about to say, then you'd have to put, China would in exchange put tariffs on U.S. students, but China don't give a damn. Plus, there isn't nearly as many U.S. students in China as there are China, uh, uh, Chinese students in America. So I guess the U.S. would win right there. Um, I don't know. Good luck with that, though. Trying to go against China when, when it comes to trade. U.S. can't compete. The U.S. dug a hole. The U.S. dug a, a capitalism hole for themselves. Because in America, everything comes down to the dollar. It's not about pride. It's not about patriotism. Patriotism is a word that they use, they throw around to get you to act like they want you to act while they fuck everybody over. Like the elite use that word on the poor and the disenfranchised to get them to act like they want them to act, like they want them to act. And if you don't do that, they say, well, you're not patriotic. If you don't stand for the flag, you're not patriotic. At the same time, oh, and, you, and you're disrespecting the veterans, but they're not disrespecting the veterans when the veterans go to the Veterans Administrative uh, Office and try to get their benefits. And they have veterans waiting for 5, 10, 15, 20 years trying to get some benefits. Don't you know that most of the damn homeless people out here on the streets in the United States of America are ex-military? But y'all are caught up in that whole flag issue. And they got you thinking that they really care. No, it's about control. They want you to do what they want you to do when they want you to do it. They don't care about the military. They don't care about the vets. Well, they care about the military, take that back. But after they get through using you, they don't care nothing about you. Cube said it best, they'll have a new nigga next year. And the U.S. military do a damn good job at recruitment. Putting the poor on the front lines. So this is all a hustle. Ain't nothing genuine about it. And if 
This is indeed a trade war. I do believe that America is going to come out on the short end of the stick. Because at the end of the day, all somebody has to do is write a check and America will sell out. We do it all the time. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.